Welcome guys, it's Lornik96 here, and I am going to bring you guys a continuation of my video game collection and other stuff. I think this is part 6, and yes I am, right? And, um, first off I want to get off with a GameCube game that I forgot to show in my GameCube game, uh, games. I guess I, like, moved it as soon as I was about to... Um, film again, so here it is Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Now, this game is personally one of my favorite RPGs. It's like it's uh very nostalgic for me because this is a game that I remember playing, and uh, it's just a great game. Um, if you love RPGs, this is a good one. So many awesome characters. Uh, I think most of you out there should know the Paper Mario series some some way shape or form now this is personally my favorite in the series I haven't played the third one yet I'm hoping to get to that sometime but anyway uh yeah this is a really good game and I definitely recommend it for GameCube owners you definitely must get it or Wii owners um just a quick note uh something kind of funny is um what actually got me to play this game was uh, my friends in third grade, yes, I can remember, it's that awesome of a game. Um, ha all had strategy guides that they brought to school. So I was looking at all my friends' strategy guides, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I ended up pick, uh, renting this game, and I bought a strategy guide. And I just loved the hell out of this game. It was so much fun. Even though I wasn't the best player, it was still a lot of fun. And uh, I ended up getting it uh, as like a surprise present uh, this copy right here which is awesome I would show you the strategy guy but except I don't know where the heck it is so yeah anyway I'll get out back onto my PS2 games and uh, another quick note is my 15 limit is gone I've gotten enough uploads or views or whatever so I can uh, do a pretty long one so I'm hoping I'm just gonna knock out the rest of my PS2 games all right, now my first one here is <clears throat> a Godzilla game, the one I was talking about, and this is personally my favorite Godzilla game, and that is Godzilla Save the Earth. Yeah, this game was pretty awesome. I remember um one of the big reasons I wanted uh hold on a second. Sorry about that. My dogs were being weird. Anyway, um. I just lift that back up. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say that I remember when I wanted a PS2, this was one of my, uh, games that I really wanted. And sorry for my shadow and the bright light when I pull it away because it's really bright sunlight behind my head. So, anyway, um, I remember seeing trailers and clips for it and it just game just looked really nice. And then I eventually, uh, when I got my PS2, I just rented it. And it was so much fun. I'd be playing it so much. And one thing I loved is they had Mothra. They had all these other characters. They brought in two versus two or just four players all at it. Which uh, Melee didn't have, unfortunately. Well, they did, but it was only if you had a maximum of two or three players. And there was no teams or whatnot. So, this is basically, in my opinion, a really big uh, improvement of the Melee. Which is why it's one of my favorites. Personally, my favorite. Um, I like Unleashed, but I'll get to that when I uh, oops, uh, when I get to the game. But anyway, this is a really nice Godzilla game. Cheats. No, <laughs> but this is a really nice Godzilla game. I definitely recommend it for fans. Um, this is also available for the Xbox and not for the GameCube, but just the Xbox and PS2. So yeah, good Godzilla game. Alright, my next one is a game series that I... I remember always seeing my friends play and whatnot, so I eventually tried it, and uh, a while ago I was really into the series, and that is the Ratchet and Clank series. Now, this is the first one, and uh, it's pretty fun. It's a really awesome action platformer. Um, they do it very well. I've never beaten any of them. I think the closest I've gotten is in the third one. <clears throat> voice cracking but <laughs> sorry anyway um 
Yeah, this one's uh, pretty decent. I don't remember the plot that much. Because I haven't played this one in a while. Um, this one was a pretty good one, though. I can remember that. I think my favorite was 3, I want to say. But, anyway, um, again, this is an awesome platformer, first person, not first person, just an awesome platformer shooter. There's a lot of funny dialogue, very creative writing in the game. Yes, I'm being all technical. And, uh, it's a very fun game. Um, it's rated T. Oops, don't want it. Oh. You don't want to see him without his helmet. But anyway, um, yeah, I'd recommend this for Ratchet and Clank fans who like the newer games, I guess, who haven't played this one. So, yeah. Check that out. Now, here is its sequel. I'm just going to get right to it. Going Commando. And what I, I like it when it says on the back. Kicking... Yeah, that. Kicking ass. One planet at a time. Yeah. Uh, this sequel is a big rehash. Well, not rehash. It was, like, a big improvement. Much like, uh... I think Save the Earth did to Melee. There's a lot more newer mechanics. There's suits, which looks cool. And it makes them look better than that. Um... I can't really say much else. Um, the story plot, I think, is different. It's basically all around the same action. I haven't played these games in a long time, so I don't really remember. Um, so, yeah. Judge this one on your own. Uh, Ratchet, again, this is another good one. Um, I should play these sometime just to remember it, but... Yeah, I don't remember what to, I don't know really what to say. And here's my favorite in the series. Up your arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the one I've probably gotten the farthest in. It, it appealed the most to me. Because I really like how they did this one. In this one, you're, like, start out, I think, with the suit you had in the second one. And you're, like, watching TV and stuff. And I, that might be the second one. I'm not too sure. But, uh, eventually, this, these, uh, the planet is under attack, this planet, yeah. And, uh, you go to the planet, and you end up fighting monsters, and then you meet this team, and after doing some missions, and then you join up the team, and basically you have this big headquarters, you can travel on a ship and go to different planets, it's really cool how they did it. And just, I got more immersed into that, this one, out of all three of them. But this one's a good one. I definitely recommend this one. Again, it's like the other two. And I really don't know how much to say else. Um, more to say, excuse me. And I forgot to show the inside of this one. Yeah. Okay. Enough of the Ratchet and Clanks. Those are the only three Ratchet and Clanks games I own. Alright, now this is probably the newest PS2 game I got. And it's pretty beat up. But I got into it when I was, like, learning this stuff in, uh, last year. And and I've heard really good reviews of this game, and it, it just looks pretty cool, so I finally picked it up. And that is God of War 2. I don't have the first one. I want to get to that one sometime, but, yeah, this one was pretty awesome. This is, like, the double disc edition where you get special features and how they did it. Which is really cool, because most games don't do that. And then, of course, there's the game. Now, if you didn't know, this is like a big Greek mythology uh, game based off of that. Now, it's not Disney Hercules at all. It's really graphic, like, sex-driven. Well, there's not that much sex in this game, especially not this one. But it's just, it follows the Greek mythology a lot more. Basically what uh, it was uh, based off of. And it's really cool because you get to play as Kratos, and uh, I don't really know the story from the first one, so I can't explain the plot too much. But basically, you get your powers taken away from you after you were turned into a god, and basically you're on a uh, driven rampage to kill Zeus. And what I really like about the, these games is that they like immerse you with other Greek characters. Like, you get to... Uh, fight uh, many different characters like I can't think of them off my head because I'm forgetting the names of course you fight Medusas and all that good stuff so um the God of War series I've personally 
like, um, I, so anyway, I definitely recommend it for Greek mythology fans or people who also like, uh, platforming action. There's a lot of puzzles in that one, just, uh, warning guys. Alright, now my next one is a Star Wars game, and, uh, this is another, one of the first PS2 games I ever got. And I personally like the first one better, but that's in my opinion. Just move them over. And this is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Don't get me wrong, I still like this one. I love the whole concept of actually being the Sith or Jedi and uh, space battles, which is pretty cool. But I remember the trailers for this one as some of my other games, and it looked really awesome. But this is a really good game. Um, it is very Star wars ish and, and hold on a second. Sorry about that, my dogs were barking. Anywho, <clears throat> um, I don't remember what I was last saying, but, uh, yeah, this game is really Star Wars-ish. It follows more Episode 3, like the main plot. It's pretty cool. You get to uh, go from Episode 3 to the beginning of the Empire, so that's pretty cool. But it's much like the second one, except I don't think there's as many maps... If so, then it's just one map, because in the first one, you get one planet and you get two different locations, which I thought was kind of cool. So it's not always the same exact position or spot in, like, the planet, but... Anyway, um, yeah, again, this is a lot like the uh, first one, but if you know the first one, then I definitely recommend this one. This is a really nice one. Um, I believe these games are released for the PC also. I don't know if there's a huge graphical um, improvement or whatever, but for now, I definitely recommend this Star Wars game. Very nice one. Alright, here is another first-person shooter game, and that is Medal of Honor European Assault. Now, this is uh, the second Medal of Honor game I first played, and um, this one was... Um, in my opinion, not as good as Vanguard, but that's because it's a lot harder, and the story is com a little bit different. But in this one, basically, you, uh, do some under, uh, covert operations. Well, they're not really that covert, but, like, they're kind of secret. And, uh, but the missions are pretty diverse. Like, you can, you go, you start out as in France, you eventually go to like, uh, North America, and then to Russia, which is kind of weird, but this game, as I said, is really hard, one thing is you get, like, a life bar, and you have to protect your squad, as you can see there, they have life bars too, and, uh, yeah, it's just a lot harder, I haven't beaten this one, I'm on this one level where it's super hard, I really can't get past it, but, <clears throat> I recommend this game for really hardcore first-person shooters, who are into the challenge. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say on this. This is the first Model of Honor game that I actually owned. So, that's kind of cool. Alright, two more. Um, by the way, if there's some games like that, some people I know that I have, I'm not going to show them off. One is because they're really games I don't play a lot or just don't really care for. Or... I just don't feel like showing it because I don't have much to say about it. But anyway, on to my next game. Another Star Wars one. Yes, I'm a Star Wars junkie. As you can tell in my part one, I have a lot of Star Wars toys and vehicles and all that goodness. I might review it someday, but don't count on it. I have no clue. Anyway, here is Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, the video game. Now, this is a really good video game, because it follows Episode 3 a lot. There is one what-if, which I will not spoil. But, um, it's really cool how they did it. Because, I mean, they basically... This is actually before the third one came out, so it was really cool for people like me who were waiting for the third one to come out. And it just uh, showed you what the movie's basics would be. There are a lot of different changes, but... For what it is, it's really good, and I just love the action, how they did it. It's very, I lo I mean, I just love the, how they did the um, Jedi battles and the controls and everything like that. It's really good. They did that 
much like they did in Forced Unleashed. So, yeah. No, I definitely recommend this for people who like Episode 3 and all that other goodness. Just trying to, you know, get through it. And here is another PS2 game that I have. This is a racing one, and it's a really fun one. I, I, I think the series is very funny. Uh, but um, but it's also a kind of sometimes competitive racing game, and that is Burnout 3 Takedown. Not this Burnout, is I don't think is that competitive, but I maybe other ones, I'm not too sure. But what I like in this one is it shows freaking damage on the car. Like, you can be racing, you can smash stuff, and then your car's all damaged. It was one of the first games to do it, because usually your car would not get... Uh, scratches and dents in it and all that goodness, but yeah, and this one also has a lot of other cool mini games. Like you can create the biggest crash and wrecks, which is kind of funny. Like you, your whole mission is just to blow crap up, and it's so much fun. And then of course there's racing, and you can unlock all these vehicles and tracks and stuff. You basically go all around the world, which is nice. And to this day, I probably still play this game. I haven't played it in a while, but... Yeah, so this is a pretty good racing game. Uh, I definitely recommend it for Burnout fans who don't have it, or just racing uh, fans in general. Alright. And that are... And that? No. And that is all my uh, PS2 games that I own. And uh, one GameCube games. And I bet... For people who watch my other video game collection, why the hell are these guys in the background? I don't know, I just felt like putting him up because... A, he's my favorite Transformers. B, I don't know, I think he's just cool. C, that's my favorite Star Wars, uh... Like, old school. No, uh, yeah. Just my favorite Empire... Suit. And B, oh, and D... Excuse me, I really can't talk. If any of you know who this guy is kind of supposed to look like, kudos to you. If not, go watch my, like, very first episodes. Warning, there is, um, language and crap. But anyway. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this, uh, video. Hopefully it's not too long. I'll make sure I'll see that all that stuff in the editing, but... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time where maybe I'll do a toy review, or maybe I'll just do something else. Hint, hint. But anyway, alright, see you guys later.